basis method. Used balances in one account. Taking another account, answer has basis. Okay. Here in this example. Since I am a company, I am expending some advertisement expenses to my whatever I am I'm expending a total of one lakh total for the whole company. So it's not for any, any location, it's for the whole company. Then at that point, I could not allocate an advent expense. I have expen expending it on a poor my brand company, so I can't allocate it. Later, after a certain period of time, suppose that it is quarterly or half yearly or annually, suppose it, but at the year end, I have earned some revenues. So every day we earn revenue from one or the other location or the business unit, whatever we call it. So we earn the revenue from the company debited, which money is falling into the bank account. So revenue is credited along with revenue account. We also tag the location account tracking from which location the revenue is being received. So for every revenue transaction, we usually record whatever the location from where we have earned that revenue. So by the end of a period, by cert, by the end of any year, we came to a conclusion that revenue earned in the company on the basis of each location is this much. So like in 3 lakhs, 5 lakhs, 2 lakhs and 4 lakhs in this. M, these are the amounts. So now my company came to a decision that since advertisement expenses is the one source, I mean, is it like is the one main expense which have which usually drives people to buy your products. So we will divide this advertisement expenses on the basis of the revenues that are earned by the locations. So we will allocate or we will allocate this advertisement expenses to each location. This one lakh which we already have posted and the basis of the revenues that are earned by the each location in the company. So in same way we will also divide them on the in within the locations in between the locations of the business units, what do we call them? That is the agent of basis method. So most commonly it is used for this kind of so dependent expenses revenues for so these kind of things only they'll mostly use this allocation method basis allocation method i'm sorry so advertisement expenses are expended for the whole company in the starting of the year as one lakh rupees okay we are not allocating them or we are not giving any location id to them because this is not for a single location this is for whole company to market the brand to market the products that are sold by the company so later since we have expended advertisement expenses, people got to know about our product and there is a demand in the market and people started buying our products. So if people buy our products, what happens? We will earn revenue. So we have four business units in four locations which which are selling goods to different people. So at the end of the year, for the complete year, I have been receiving some revenues. So by the end of the year, I have concluded my revenues as like this. Hyderabad earned three lakhs. Bangalore earned 5 lakhs, Chennai earned 2 lakhs and Mumbai earned 4 lakhs. So this is my ratio of revenues that are earned by the different location business units. Now my company decided that they want to allocate this 1 lakh rupees which they expend as advertisement expenses on the basis of the revenues that are earned by each location. So this 1 lakh we will now divide on this same ratio how the revenues are being earned or revenues are being allocated whatever you can say so revenues are how revenues are being earned by each business unit the same way advertisement expenses also will be given or will be apportioned or allocated between the business units or between the locations so that is our motto of basis method so for that we need to have an advertisement expense entry we also need to have this revenue expense and the revenue earned entries posted in the books so when we have this two only, then we can divide this entry on the basis of this. Right? So we should have both of them 
as a prerequisite two entries should be there in order to apply in order to apply the rule that we would configure going further so now according to our example which i have explained i'll post this advertisement expenses entry in one journal as, as well as this revenues entry in another journal just to have numbers so that we can use them to allocate the advertisement expenses so i'm going to general general ledger general journal for posting these two entries this advertisement expenses as well as this revenues it takes a while to load guys in interview they will definitely ask you this question concentrate okay in first you will you'll feel a little confused but this this is very easy to understand as well very easy to practice too so do we have advertisement expenses account in our company let me check if we have or else i'll create one okay i'll quickly create two new accounts for just for example purpose going to accounts going to main accounts so we don't have advertisement expenses so we'll create one okay advertisement expenses expense account save it we have one business revenue account i think so i'll create one more account as this revenue okay and call it as revenue account and save it all right so we have two accounts now one expense account one revenue account advertisement expense account as well as sales revenue account so first i will use the advertisement expense account to post the advertisement expenses in the starting of the year so i am going for new journal going for general journal going for lines so within the lines i am posting it from for the starting of the year okay for the 1st of january so i resume it i am paying it in somewhere in the month of january i am expending advertisement expenses for this complete year okay so let me select the advertisement expense account that we have created file like it so i am not selecting any location or department i am paying it for the whole company so i am expending 1 lakh right then offset account what is offset account cash course cash or bank if you don't have bank we'll select cash right okay so i'm debiting the advertisement expense account creating the offset account then i'll save this and i'll post this so guys in the beginning of year i have expended advertisement expenses of 1 lakh for my company's brand marketing there is an error message so why we have this error we need solution for solving this error for first of january we don't have exchange rate before that first of january also we don't have any exchange rate so system is throwing an error message that between our reporting accounting currency and reporting currency there is no exchange rate to convert the accounting currency balance what we have given here into reporting currency so what we have to do we have to go and configure the so same so the exchange rates so i am going to a currency exchange rates here so here going to euro to us dollar euro to us dollar is here edit this so the very latest we have is 
1st of june so let's go for 1st of january itself and give a rate for 1st of january as 1.4 or something so 1.4 us dollars for 1 euro so i'll save it then i'll go back i don't want to go back i'll just save it and here i'll refresh it then this time i'll post it so no problem this time it got posted so for the 1st of january i have posted advertisement expenses of 1 lakh into my books now i'll go for the second entry what is the second entry revenues so assume that i am posting half yearly revenues okay i what are the revenues that i earned for half yearly i am posting it so i am selecting a new journal selecting a journal for revenue journal to post the revenues i am selecting a different journal going to lines so i can select revenue account here sales revenue so what is the total sales revenue 14 lakhs right so i'll give 14 lakhs here actually i can give one by one separately i'm just trying to do this breakdown of voucher functionality i'll use that breakdown of voucher functionality i'm using cash account here okay now i will use this functions breakdown of voucher come down so i have this 14 lakhs here so in this i just create new i am creating this one this is not needed Oof, i lost everything go breakdown of voucher go here so reduce this amount to 3 lakhs for hyderabad location right so hyderabad location 3 lakhs add another line so add the same revenue sales revenue account that we have created this time for bangalore location so for bangalore location it is only 5 lakhs so then click on add the same four lakh fund account this time 102 chennai location right yeah so for chennai it is 2 lakhs so then the final line for 4 lakhs is for sales revenue account only but 103 mumbai location right just save this here i can see the update button since the voucher is balanced 14 lakhs and 14 lakhs are balanced now i'll click on update so here we go then i can see here for revenue for hyderabad location is 3 lakhs revenue for bangalore location is 5 lakhs revenue for chennai 2 lakhs and mumbai 4 lakhs respectively and total is a credit amount which is going to be so why i gave debit and credit i'm so sorry actually it has to be in reverse so you know revenues are always revenues are always credited and uh, this is always debited so it's my mistake only revenues are always debited credited cash account is debited give it here i'm giving this 14 lakhs here sorry for that so i have credited my all the revenues that i am receive that i have received and debited the uh, total cash account i mean the whatever the revenues i have received i am posting it into my cash account okay so forget about the dimension value for cash account no worries so just assume so i'll just change this dates also back to 
June 30, which means half yearly. I change all the dates back to June 30. June 30. Here also I'll change it to June 30. It is changed here also. It will definitely change here. Yeah. Right. So I'll save this. If this is clear, then we can go ahead and post it. So now we have posted two entries at and expenses in the beginning of the year and half yearly revenue. So I will divide this advertisement expenses on the the basis of revenues we have received. So it is the same meaning allocation of balances in one account by taking another account balances as basis. So advertisement expense is now allocated on the basis of revenues that are already allocated. Right, so this is also posted as I can see here. Now we will go step by step to configure the basis method and then operate it. So to configure the basis method, we have another additional step to follow. So previously under allocations, we have done ledger allocation rules first, process allocation request next and allocation journals next, right? So additionally, we have one more step to do in basis method. So we have to first configure this ledger allocation basis. You can see here, right? Ledger allocation basis. So this is the first step we have to do next this one third and fourth. So we have four steps. Previously we used to follow three steps starting from here. But for basis method we have to begin it from ledger allocation basis first then ledger allocation rules. OK, do not confuse with names. So first we have to start with ledger allocation basis. So write down the navigation it's in general ledger allocations and ledger allocation basis. So I'll click here. So before I do anything here, so we have discussed about basis and we, I explained about basis method. So in the two entries that I have posted, what is the basis account? Revenue account is the basis account. So depending on revenue on basing on the revenue entries, we are also dividing the allocation expense account, the single entry allocation expenses. We are dividing it. So the basis is revenue. Revenue along with location value combination is the basis. OK, mm -hmm. so now we will create that basis IDs what we call. So I'll go for new. We'll create a basis ID. It will take a number from number sequences. So here I can give a description. I can give description called as and I'll give description here as OK. So effective date expiration date is not needed. I mean we, this is the same. I can give active so I am activated it. Date interval is also nothing but the same effective and expiration. We can configure a date interval like from which date to which date we can configure here. So I'm ac activating this basis with this basis rule. So we normally call it as basis rule. That one as allocation rule. So then here we don't have any destination. We only have source to give. So we have given sales revenue in Hyderabad, right? So we also have to give that account and combination dimension combination, right? So that's what we have to give here in the source. So I'll go to source. In the source. I'll click on new. So it asks me which main account main account or financial dimension. First I'll select main account. So which main account? Sales revenue, right? So sales revenue account I'll select here. Come on. Sales revenue four lakh one. So along with this main account as a basis, we also have a dimension value combination location value combination. So I'll select new as well. I'll select financial dimension here. So select financial dimension as location and select the location value as Hyderabad. Clear. So now on the basis of revenues that are divided that are earned by Hyderabad location, we also divide the advertisement expense or allocate the advertisement expense into the Hyderabad location. OK, 
So th this is the basis. We have given one basis. The same way we have to give another three as well. Click on if. Give a description. Sales reven revenue. So we'll go with Bangalore. Okay, Bangalore. Activate it and next source Please. new. We have to select so main and account. What is the main account? Four lakh, oh, five lakh. Four lakh. Is one, the yes, sales yes, revenue account. Yes. Dimension, location, and yes. Bangalore yes. dimension value. Yes. Save it. Close it. Okay, new sales yes. revenue Chennai. Active source new. Main account, yes. Select the account and financial diamond location. And yeah, 102 is the Chennai value, so I selected it and yeah. save. Close. And finally, the fourth one, you click on new revenue Mumbai. Okay. Active source new main account source criteria is 4 lakh 1. Sorry, 4 lakh. Okay. Again, new financial dimension. Financial dimension is location and source criteria is the left over location value. Move save back. So I keep the spelling wrong. Just change it. Okay, and I'll refresh this so I see them in order. So I have four basis rules now. So this is how. We create the first step basis rules. Let us go for the next step. So what is the next step? Next step is ledger allocation rules right here. So I'm going for ledger allocation rule. So how to create create a ledger allocation rule? Anyone else? Click on you. OK. And revenue. Basis right. Uh, if general yes, location method as basis, journal name as location journal to source. So can you? We have to divide the balance existing in the advertisement expense account. So we have to take the source in the ledger mm -hmm. allocation rule as advertisement expense only. So the balance in advertisement expense account is taken as a source amount that has to be allocated. So there mm -hmm. in basis basis rule that we have created previously there we select whatever is the basis. So revenue is the basis there, but here the source is advertisement expense account in the rule. Do not forget that this is where a lot of people get confused. OK, keep it as a straight point in mind. So in basis rules, you will take the whichever account that is basis for allocation. Whereas comes to ledger allocation rule, you will take the account, the source account, the which account amount that you want to divide that particular account you will select here as the source criteria. So the source criteria here is advertisement expenses. OK. I'm selecting only advertisement expenses here, so then I'll go for destination. The next step is destination only, right? This I'll explain. OK, in destination, I have to create destinations, so we have to divide it between four locations, right? So into the same advertisement expense account once again, but this time tagging different location values. So we will do that now. Click on new first. After clicking new here, I can select the basis ID. So from where I would get this basis ID. Beforehand we have created four basis IDs, so I can see all four here. I can select Hyderabad basis ID here. Then I can select the same advertisement expense account here, which has into the same account we are dividing the balance, right? So five lakh eight account and this time I'll select Hyderabad location here. Since I look selected Hyderabad one here, so I'll select Hyderabad. Save. The basis ID, the second basis ID for Bangalore location. Select the same file like it. Advertisement expense account. Wait, what's wrong? Okay, it's loaded only. Sales revenue account. Advertisement expense account only. Come on. 
Okay. And location is Chennai. So the fourth one, mm -hmm. when you select the basis ID as number four, then to which account? Advertisement expense Advertisement. account. Home. Okay. Then location value location. is Mumbai location. Mumbai. Save. So we are done with source and destination as well. So if you look in as a bits and pieces, you will surely get confused. So if you come in a pattern, you will you can easily understand this. So first we have done ledger allocation basis. So I'll again show you. Okay, first we have done this step ledger allocation basis. Okay, in ledger allocation basis, I have created four bases. I gave sales revenue Hyderabad and source also I gave sales revenue account plus Hyderabad value. Source revenue account plus financial damage plus Hyderabad. So on the basis of this, the advertisement expenses will be allocated. So I'm going for this. No, so next time this, next is this, next is this. For each and every basis ID, I have selected sales revenue account plus different, different location dimension value combination. So after that, I have created the second step, ledger allocation rules. Like usually we have created three rules previously. I've created the fourth rule in which I gave it as a basis description. I went to method, pick the basis method and select the allocation journal. So here in this source, we have to give the advertisement expense account since we have to divide the balance or allocate the balance of the advertisement expenses only that we have posted previously in the beginning of the year, one lakh amount. So that one lakh amount is our source. So I gave the advertisement expense here. So our destination is that the same one lakh amount has to be posted to advertisement expense account only, but this time along with the combination of location values. So for that I'm going to destination. I have selected the same advertisement expense account along with Hyderabad location, but here I considered the basis ID where Hyderabad location is selected. So in basis ID number one, I selected Hyderabad location. So I have matched both of them. Again for Bangalore, I have matched both of them. Chennai and Mumbai also I matched them. Then it, the rule is completed. So now let us see how we can run this rule or run the process allocation request, which is our next step in the allocation. So here I have process allocation request. I go for process allocation request. OK, select the rule. So select the balances as of which date it is saying you can select any date from the past, but I'll select today's date itself. OK. Then proposal only or post only I have here. I'll go for proposal no. only. then GL posting date. I'll go. I want it to post on today's date itself, so let it post on today's date. OK, I'm not giving any release data or reason code and I'm not running it in the batch. I'll run it straight in the on the screen. OK, I'm clicking on OK. So it is running on the screen. We got a message that operation is completed. If at all there are any issues or errors or configurations are not done properly, then you will get error messages here rather than operation completed. So if everything is good, you will get operation completed. So go for operation. So we have to where we have to check that journal that is created. So under allocations, we have allocation journal. So here here I we have to check it. So it is created. Right. So I'll go for lines to check how it is created. So how it is created. I'll just take out the calculator. Go for the one lakh amount. So previously I told you that in the same ratio. The ratio is 3 by 14, 5 by 14, 2 by 14 and 4 by 14, right? So I'm going here. A 1 lakh account. Into 3 divided by 14 is equal to 2148.57, which is rounded off to the nearest 0, 6, 0. Right? Same here, 3070 and 40. The same way. This is 3 by 14. 
5 by 14, 2 by 14 and 4 by 14. So you can see the advertisement expense entry that you have posted in the starting of the year. 1 lakh is getting credited or reversed. Again, the same advertisement expense along with the combination of different location values is being debited. The total 1 lakh only being allocated in the ratio how the revenues are earned between these locations in the same ratio. It is being divided or allocated. So if you feel like you want to post this entry to 1st of January only, you can change the dates here to 1st of January itself and you can post it once again. I mean, we can post it like changing the dates to 1st of January. If you don't want to change it and if you want to post it for today's date itself, you can do it. Anything is OK. So this is the whole agenda we discussed with for our example to divide the posted advertisement expenses on the basis of revenues that are earned. So on the basis of revenues ratio that we have earned, the one lakh amount is being divided. What's this? So it is posted. So that is all about basis method guys. So in interview when they ask for the question basis method, you can say this definition. It is used for so and so purpose. Then you can clearly explain this example. Take the same example and say them. We have a prominent example for basis method. So for you can take this expense. So suppose that we have posted advertisement expenses in the starting of the year or expended advertisement expenses for the company for marketing a product which is not related to any location, which is for the whole company. We have expended some amount. Later we have received some revenue from each business unit or location at the end of certain period. If company decides to allocate the previously posted advertisement expenses amount balance on the basis of the revenue earned between the department locations. So we can use the basis method or we can configure the basis method and you apply it. Then they will ask you the steps how to do it. So you can say that first we have to create the ledger allocation basis. Next we have to create the ledger allocation rules. The once after configuring ledger allocation rules, you have to run the process allocation request and then the journal will be created. Then you have to validate and post it. So these are the four steps you have to explain them clearly. Do more research on this, practice it more, make uh, and bring it onto your hands on. Then you will be good with this, no problem. But expect this question definitely in interview. Most of them will prefer to ask this question in interview. I don't see anyone using this method mostly, but they will definitely ask in interview. These there are certain questions that are meant only for interviews, the periodic journals, these allocations and all. 